Hey guys, and today in this video I'm going to be talking about how I keep my, my fluval tank simple, stable, and successful. So let's, well, I'm just going to jump right into it because I don't, I'm going to start, I'm going to have this video quite short, probably like 5 minutes or something. Uh, because my last video was 20 minutes, because it, it was a 6 month update, it's quite a main update uh, to do on the tank. So I'm just going to do a small one on this. So let's um, start off with how I keep my tank simple. So for starters, it doesn't have a skimmer. So you don't have to worry about cleaning it or tuning it. All I, all I have is a filter pad trapping anything that goes over the overflow, like fish waste or any large bits of anything that's floating about in the tank. It just all, the, all of that um, <coughs> all tra uh, traps it in that pad, which gets changed out every two, three days. But recently, um, it's going to be changed out every like five days because by somehow my nitrates are at one, which is a a, a bit weird. Um, there is no dosing of any kind because I don't really need to, uh, because I do fifty percent water changes every week. Uh, I'll get to a uh, stable and and uh, in just a sec I'll go over fit, um, my water change um, schedule. Yeah, I'm doing big water changes every week, so that keep uh, that keeps all my alkalinity, um, calcium and magnesium high enough for the torch coal and especially the Duncan coal, which is going mad with growth. Um, there is nothing high tech on it, so nothing like an apex system or, uh, as I just said, any no dosing system of any kind. All I've got is my temp controller, which you just set a temperature and then you just leave it. Honestly, I don't, I, I haven't touched that thing in months. Um, and the wave machine, I don't even touch that because that's on a timer. And it's all, it's all, so it comes on and off at different times and it's got um, different flow rates. It's a bit confusing, but I basically, I don't, I don't touch that at all. So nothing high tech, I don't, don't I don't touch anything uh, technical at all. Uh, so that's how we keep my tank simple. It's, uh, it's I can't really make it complicated. It is it's really basic and it's doing really well. So now on that, let's move on to my parameters. How I keep my parameters stable. Uh, the main thing I'm going to go to now is the fifty percent water change. Uh, that's a twenty liter water change. So pretty much forty five percent, fifty percent water change a week. Uh, I might be skipping one this week because my nitrates are so low. Uh, same, same with my dad's nitrates. They're like nothing he's, he's got no nitrates in his tank and he's trying really hard to get him up he's feeding heavy leaving the skimmer off he can't get him up which is a, a bit weird um but i'm happy mine are at one but i've got soft coral in there and do when corals do like um a little bit of nitrate in there because that's what they uh they used to grow as well so i would like it about three four be all right uh, nothing above ten about well, ten at maximum really but it will stay in between two and five. Hopefully, I can uh, get it in between those two uh, two numbers as, um, again. Um, so yeah, you just um, you got to keep on top of maintenance, um, which is we well, got to keep uh, that's uh, what, what keeps it successful. Which I'll, I'll, I'll go on to that last actually. Um, you got yeah, you got to keep on top on top of maintenance. So don't think oh no, I'll do that tomorrow. Just whenever you've got a spare thirty seconds, clean the glass. And if you've got spare uh, 30 seconds, change out your filter pad or filter sock, whatever kind of filtration uh, you're using, which is the only thing I change out is the filter pad. The pump never needs cleaning out. We cleaned it out about a month ago, and there was, well, you could pretty much say there was nothing in it. Um, I've got one sponge, but that's that doesn't trap anything. It's just to... Uh, keep the uh, filter pad nice and you know keep the whole filtration nice and tidy so that's why i keep uh, that's what i use to uh, keep everything stable Ma it's, the main thing is the 50% uh, water change keeping all the nitrates uh, nice and low well lower night stable um and my uh, magnesium calcium and alkalinity nice and stable well that's why my coral lines go mad was they that that only grows in stable parameter tanks so now moving to what keeps my tank successful. Um, so the successful part is kind of what I just said. It's the 50% what the huge water changes, keeping all the parameters stable. And again, don't rush it. Well, yeah, go over maintenance. Make sure you're doing your maintenance. 
every day you, you need to be doing something like topping off the tank or cleaning the glass I'm, I'm, I always do something every day uh, that's cleaning the glass mainly I do that once a day um, which is really easy 30 seconds just whip over it to get all the uh, algae or diatoms whatever's on it um, uh, there is actually a little bit of coralline starting on it which is uh, rare I'll probably have to standy blade that because the magnet that I got on there it doesn't actually you know cut it off yeah, um, oh, the final thing, the final thing I think, uh, is this the main thing where most new reefers go wrong, and that's where uh, that's with they rush, they rush these these um, they put some uh, Doctor Tim's in just to you know rush the cycle. Uh, they quickly put rock in, sand in, corals. They want to get it up and running and set up um that's that's where those people gone wrong so i'm six months in and i'm still adding coral in um so i'm taking my time with it and that's the key thing uh to keeping a reef tank um so yeah i guess that'll do it for this video um quite a quick one i guess it's like six and a half minutes um so next week might be another update or another video kind of like this i'm not really too sure yet i haven't really planned it out uh, yet, but my dad will uh, do another video um, in the next week or so, or probably on my tank. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see me then. Bye.